Good afternoon, Iroquois families. This is Mrs. Fouts here. I wanted to take a couple minutes and show you how to access the online resources that we have posted for you during this time of school closure. If you can begin by going to the Iroquois School District website, it's www.iroquoisd.org. Once you navigate to that website, you will notice right here at the top it says Iroquois School District Online Resources for Remote Learning. If you go ahead and click on that, it will take you to a page of online resources for you and for your family. As you scroll down, there are many, many really great resources in here. This first one, Great Minds Knowledge on the Go, gives you access to everything from kindergarten to pre-calculus, and there are video lessons in there for your student to review any topics that they have already learned and to just keep those concepts fresh in their mind. As you can continue scrolling down, Scholastic has provided um, weekly updated content for families to use. And when you go ahead and click down here, I'm going to start with grades 3 through 5. You will notice that these are Scholastic Learn at Home Enrichment Lessons. Each week, there are five lessons posted for students to take part in. There's an element of reading, perhaps there might be a video to watch, and you're able to go through and complete these with your students. Once you've completed the first week, they give you the opportunity to take part in a daily reading quest as well. After you've completed the first week's worth of lessons, you can click on week number two, and you'll notice there is another week's worth of lessons Put up there for you. So you're welcome to do these with your students as well. Again, they are broken down by pre-K and kindergarten, first and second grade, grades three through five, and then grades six through nine. When you continue scrolling down, you'll see that the tumble book library is also available for you. You can choose a subject, and then once you log in, you have access to a variety of electronic books for your students as well. There is an audiobook cloud where students can download and listen to some of their favorite titles as well. The next resource listed for you is Clever. Clever is the platform students are used to using when they're in school. Once they click on, their, on Clever, it will remind them exactly how to log in. It's their student number at iroquois.iu5.org. And then their password is the same one they use to log into their laptops. Once they log into Clever, they will have access to Education Galaxy, Epic, and some of those other resources that they're accustomed to using here at school. They can continue working through those different lessons and um, activities that were already provided for them through those platforms. Students who are currently taking AP courses, AP and College Board has released some study materials that they can continue working through in order to prepare for the AP exams. And they can, can click on those. They are divided up by subject. Khan Academy is another resource students can use to access math videos for enrichment and review. They are broken down by concept and students are able to click on those videos to further enrich the skills they already have and review some of those concepts so that they stay fresh. We also have a link here for some virtual field trips that students can take from home. When you go to this website, there are all kinds of different links down here under the free virtual field trips. Students can explore the surface of Mars if they would like to. They could go and take a view um, of the Great Wall of China. They can go through the Anne Frank House and learn some information about those places as well. So while everyone is staying in place in their homes, you're able to get out um, digitally and check out some of these very, very interesting field trips that are listed here for you. And finally, another page is the Other Amazing Education Resources. Now this is a very, very, very long document that lists all the education companies that are giving free subscriptions right now. They are broken down for you by grade and age group, so you can go ahead and look through here and see what might be applicable for you and for your family. You can then click right on the link if it's something that interests you. 
If you're not quite sure what 12 museum virtual tours might be, there is a description here that shows you exactly what you will find through this website. And as you can see, um, it starts with the number 12, and if I scroll down just even a little bit, I'm still in the A's. So there are a lot of really, really great education companies that are offering free resources for you at this point. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about any of these resources, I'm going to scroll back up through for you, please reach out to either the high school or the elementary school. We are happy to answer questions that you might have, and we hope that you're able to just keep those brains fresh during this time of school closure.